Just giving it a second here. I'm going to get ready. Just a second until a few people have joined. Just waiting just a minute. I wanted to talk about our new Hunter's Journals that are being produced for all the conventions, but in particular for the Supernatural Cons and what's happening right now with that and what we're doing for New York and why you would want one of these journals in the first place. So, okay. Hi, it's Shelly again, and we are getting ready for New York Comic Con. We have a couple of Supernatural shows coming up um, in the next month, and so I thought I would talk about what we have going on right now, um, what we're doing, and like in the production process, and take a look inside my Hunter's Journal and see like why you would even want one or need one in the first place. Um, so I heard back from the printer today, and I need to go down for a press check, so I'll probably tweet that out tomorrow and show some pictures. Um, we printed this before, um, but we are doing a bigger run because we sold out of our Supernatural journals. So that means we can go from a small digital print on the insides to doing offset printing, which is a much uh, larger quantity. But it's a different production process. So basically, we went from digitally printing the inside pages to doing large offset four color process. Well, that changes the whole look of your printing. So um, I have to run down and take a look because the color is going a little pink. And the last thing you want in a supernatural journal are some pink pages with purple undertones. So um, that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I probably will not periscope it because I'm going to be uh, inside the printing facility and I'll be looking at it and um, working with our printer to try to make it super cool. Hey, Lori. Hey, it's just a quick, I decided to just quickly periscope um, about what we have going on right now um, and also take a look inside my own Hunter's Journal because I was looking at it a lot today as we were talking about um, the printer and some of the colors that they have going on with our new, yeah, no pink pages, no pink pages, no purple pages. It's supposed to look kind of like ink smeared, so I'll show you guys my journal. It's supposed to look like ink smeared on the inside, and it's, it's coming out a little lavender, so that's not really going to do for, you know, the blood smears inside the Supernatural journal. So anyway, let's take a look inside mine, um, and I'm going to flip. Hopefully it works because I have not updated to iOS 9. So thank you, Lori. Thank you for inviting people. Um, I have not updated iOS 9, so hopefully you guys please let me know if there's any kind of strange issue, but I think everything should be okay with mine. So here's my, thank you, here's my little leather one that I used to take all my notes in. You can see I scratched it up, I threw it in my bag, but that kind of um, gives a whole worn look to it anyway. Here is the Hunter's Journal. This is what we use for um, this is from a couple of shows that we did. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, iOS 9, I was uh, watching Watch It Played, and he's been having all kinds of problems with it. So here is the Hunter's Journal, and it is the Three Ring Binder. Um, it's a custom-made, custom-printed, and custom-designed uh, journal um, that is three ring compatible, but we had it made without boosters because our pages are oversized. We have special pages that we have printed that Tracy Gurney, she's a fabulous artist designer. She does a lot of great fangirl stuff. She designed it. Um, here's what we did with the inside. You know, there's my journal, um, sort of my decorations from the creation shows we've done. Um, and then here are the pages that are in production right now. And as you can see, this is what I was looking at from my printer today. Thank you for inviting people. Um, and here are the pages. And this one, as you can see, it's a nice brown tone. And then on this page, we've got our blue ink looking super purple in here. So that's why I need to run down to the print shop tomorrow to take a look because I really want it to reflect what we first did on this printing process. Um, but as I'm showing you the pages and what I'm gonna be dealing with tomorrow when I go down there, you can kind of see how we decorate it up too. I mean, you have plan of attack to put your schedules and panels and stuff. This is from a previous print run. Again, this was like a, 
um, really short run we did to kind of trial it out in the spring. And I've got my autograph um, and photo op tickets here. I've got Misha's autograph there and a picture. Um, this was just like a postcard that I stuck in here so you can really decorate them any way you want. Um, another couple of like picture postcards and really fun this year at New York Comic Con, we are going to be selling eight by 10 prints and of both Supernatural. So it's going to be Sam and Dean and Castiel prints. And we're going to be selling Walking Dead prints. We're going to have Rick. We're going to have Michonne. Yeah, the boys are they adorable. So anyway, we are going to have all these great 8x10 prints that you can decorate up your journal with and get autographs on. Um, we're really excited to be working with Creation Entertainment on that. But anyway, yes, here are the boys. Um, here are some other pictures that we took at different shows. Osric Chow, he's awesome. Yes, we're going to have Walking Dead prints. And actually, if you hold on, I'm going to swing around. I have... You know, we're going to have a Walking Dead inspired journal. And so I don't have the I don't have them yet, but I do have some pages I printed that are just really rough that you can see and these are it's going to be much bloodier and darker in color than this, but our Walking Dead inspired journal for New York for New York is going to be fantastic. I'm really excited about. Thank you. Watch it play. Thank you. Hello. Yes, I was just watching you guys earlier. Yeah, blood, lots of blood smears. Really funny story about this. This guy came up to Tracy's friend at a con and he was kind of actually um, goobery, I believe. And she took the picture and she was like, I don't know. I know these pages are so awesome. She's like, I don't know if he's scary enough. And you know what? When she put him on here, she cut off her friend, put him on here. This is all her own original photography. Um, and he looks really scary. She put, like, the blood on his head. I just love it. You know, the axe. I am super excited about this. Look. Oh, the bloody knife. It's so cool. Of course, we know the flowers and the clock. That's all, like, an ode to Carol page, right? Um, this page is super scary. And then I have to tell you, one of my favorite, my favorite things in this whole journal is the top 10 edible insects. So not only are we gonna have all these great Walking Dead inspired pages, our bloody cover, we are going to have on um, eight by 10 glossy prints of the main five, I know gross, The um, of the characters that you can buy and decorate up with your journal. They're gonna be doing a panel at New York. Um, Robert Kirkman and a lot of the actors are gonna be there. So you can get a survivor's journal and I will scope that as soon as I pick those bad boys up. And we'll have the 8x10 prints that are the officially licensed print of the um, four or five main characters. Um, so it's going to be super awesome. But anyway, back to my Supernatural journal. There's Ted and I with Osric. Um, there I am with the Hollywood Girls. They're awesome. Um, so you can really decorate these up any way you want. Keep it simple. Put stickers. You know, you don't have to print your pictures off. But I do find that I had a lot of great pictures from shows that I'd been to that I had never printed before. And this was a great way to inspire me to do it. I mean, I have a little home printer that I just, you know, printed them out on. And I didn't print 50. You know, I printed Felicia. Bye, Felicia. I printed my favorite few of them, you know, and I just stuck them in here. One of the funnest things I don't think people necessarily do, and I don't know that funnest is a word. One of the most fun things that we do is take panel notes. Um, I would tweet them out before, but when you write them down, it's, you know, I have found that people come up and literally like, you know, read what we've written down. And it's really fun when they do that because they say some really great Hi, Ashley. Um, they say some really great stuff in these panels that you want to kind of remember. So, and then all of our journals come with the sleeves for the photo ops. Um, I have extra sleeves because I get a lot of photo ops. Hey, Ashley. Um, and then artwork. We're going to have more of Tracy's artwork. This is a Sherlock artwork. I think I've got a bunch in here. I think we're going to have, um, for sure, there's um, Dean. There's Doctor Who because Bill, Billy Piper is going to be um, at New York. So we're going to have some of Tracy's original artwork there as well that you can decorate up your journal with. The boys. And again, there's my photo op with them. That was so awesome. Um, Creation Entertainment. We are also going to have some, I think we're going to have some cost cards um, in our booth at New York too. And we'll have stickers. So anyway, that's a look inside my journal so it can give you just a quick idea of what we do with it. 
I have seen people literally take um, <laughs> fangirl squeeze. That's right. Um, I'm going to flip it. Um, somebody posted on our um, Facebook page that they took their Supernatural convention pictures and they put them in um, a collage, an 8x10 collage, and they slapped them down right on the pages. So, I mean, that was a great way for them to kind of um, cover the whole page. And, you know, they could do it however they want. I mean, we don't say that there's one way you have to do it. This is how we did it, but you can do it any way you want to do it. Just write, take notes on it. Um, one of my g girlfriends who we met through our original t-shirt business, she would do a lot of, yeah, there are a lot of great collage apps. And I think she actually just got them printed at like Walmart or Walgreens. I can't even remember which one she said. So, um, and you fill up a whole book. One, one of our friends, Michelle, she does a lot of her journaling just using um, pen and just writing notes on it. So she writes down her best stories. Um, and I think that's a great, you know, you always have these great stories of little, you know, insane things that happen when you're at a convention. Um, another good one, a guy at Gen Con, he used our journal as his yearbook. So, you know, you get to meet a lot of people when you're gaming at Gen Con and you're doing pickup games and you're doing demo games and you sit with a lot of people. Well, he had all of the people sign up like it was a yearbook. So it's like his Gen Con yearbook. I think that's so cool. And um, he had them like write a quote, like something funny or an inside story they shared while they were playing one of their games in his journal. And like he came by later to show us and tell us about it. We thought that was a really great idea. I mean, it hadn't even occurred to us to use it in that way, like a yearbook. So I thought, oh, that's so smart. That's so great. So anyway, um, we're in the production process. I'm gonna have some of the Hunter's journals. I know it's such a good idea, isn't it? Um, and how many people have we met that I wish I would have had like sign in my book? It doesn't have to be for celebrity autographs. Some people are like, oh, I'm not into autographs. That's fine. Have the fun people you meet in it. Or if you go with your group of friends, have them all write in it and write a great story. I mean, it's just, it's such a convention, as digital as we are, as I'm sitting here peri periscoping, as digital as we are, as there's Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, everything else, um, all of that stuff is kept in the digital world, and that's great. But a convention is still a very physical, visceral experience. And you have all of these great memories, and people don't always understand what you're doing there, and you don't always necessarily keep good track of it after you've gone. So you spend all this money to go to a show. It's like, you know... Um, Oh, I know. We went to Forks. Um, yeah, Lori, so right. We went to Forks, a whole bunch of us, uh, before there was even a movie for Twilight. I'm going to be honest. Um, we were way ahead of the game. And um, we went to Forks in ages ago, 2008. And it's like, yeah, if we had had a journal back then, it would have been... I mean, we still have our pictures, but we didn't think to do anything like it at all. Um, we didn't sign it. We didn't do a book. I wish we would have done that. We'll have to get together again, right, and, and do that in the future. And now we have journals that we can do it. So anyway, well, thanks for watching. This is my little inside of the journals as I pick up um, the Survivor's Journals, Hunter's Journals, and more companion journals next week. Um, I will be scoping as I'm making my kids put them together with me because they're going to have to work next weekend. I don't know if they know that yet. And because um, we've got a lot to do to get ready for New York, and I've got to ship them out the week after next. Um, and also, I'm going to be at KJ's uh, Cancer Sucks Party. If you're local to Indianapolis, there's a Cancer Sucks Party. We're part of, we've donated a companion journal and a bag for her Doctor Who con package with Indie Pop Con and Doctor Who North America, which is super exciting. So I'll be doing that Friday night. I may even periscope from the event a little bit, which would be really fun if I can uh, get KJ to get on with me. So anyway, well, thanks for watching, everybody. And um, I'll be scoping when I can. Thank you. Bye-bye.